about 10 years ago, we started talking about gun violence in our surgical conferences as it became apparent that we weren't making any headway. 40,000 deaths per year and over 200,000 injuries per year made this an issue that was pressing for all of us. So why now do we come together? Make no mistake, this is a public health crisis, but repeatedly we are saddened. Our elected officials fail us as these tragedies become the norm and almost acceptable or tolerable, yet we are all outraged. You know, unsecured weapons in homes is one of the leading causes of school shootings. So if it's a cancer, for example, before you can try to figure out how to fix it, how to prevent it, you have to figure out what it is. Like, what is the scope of it? Where is it happening? Who is it happening to? Why is it happening? So we've got professional organizational interest. We have compelling personal stories. I'm really hoping that we can come up with a strategy for advocacy that can move this issue. As a result of increased firearms in the household, we're seeing spikes in gun violence across the country, and many of our nation's children are being affected. Hence, the need for a public health approach to this issue has never been more timely. And This is unacceptable that people should not be able to live in a safe environment and not be worried about, you know, being shot. We are the people that disseminate that bad news, and it can't continue. So I think it's up to us to make sure that we show our indignity, we show our outrage, and we show that this should never be considered normalized, that each and every death counts. Because at the end of the day, we need to be able to have these conversations with our patients in the first place. So let's heed our children's call and guarantee in America that children have the right to live, learn, and grow up safely, free from violence and fear. Mm -hmm.